Hi, this is Devashish Das and I welcome you to another video of Circuit Digest and in front of me you can see the SPWM inverter circuit which I have made it in a puff board because this circuit is very simple. So this is as I've said earlier this is a SPWM inverter. So if you want to learn more about this topic you can check the link given in the description for more details. So back with the inverter. I have said as this is a demonstration video I have set the circuit in a puff board and I have all the peripherals attached to it. Uh, so this is a amp meter which is uh, used to measure the input current and this is my battery this uh, I am using this big old 12 volt battery to power this circuit. This transformer is used to convert the low voltage uh, AC to high voltage AC and this multimeter here shows the output voltage so if I turn this on you can see the bulb is on this is a uh, this is a 40 watt uh, incandescent light bulb as you can see the current draw is at almost 3 amps and the uh, let me tell you the circuit does not get uh, very heat because the it's not running on full capacity because of the PWM signal and you can see the output voltage is around 134-135 volt this will change if I uh, this changes due to the fact that the transformer is not capable of handling um, this kind of power if I uh, detached the load you will see that uh, it almost give us a perfect 230 volt AC so let me disconnect the load first I have disconnect the load and I will detach the load and then power the circuit back on again so now the circuit is on and you can see the output is almost 247 volt but the big drawback of the circuit is uh, this is though a sine of your sine wave inverter but in the process it always consume 1.1 amp without any load so this is a not very efficient circuit and this is just for demonstration and understanding purposes uh, so if you want to build this circuit and use it I'll recommend it you to buy a commercial one to use it so thank you for watching